I had a daughter, I have a one-year-old who was tested, tested positive for uh, cystic fibrosis. And so we said, well, what's the sensitivity of the test? It's 98, 99%. What's the positive predictive value? That is, well, that's, what, that's what they call this, the actual probability of having the disease given the test. So we're told that, that she's tested positive, and of those that have cystic fibrosis, 97, 98% of will, will test positive. So that sounds horrible. It's a horrible thing, cystic fibrosis. What is the positive predictive value on that test? Turns out it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 5%. So that means for every 100 people that test positive for cystic fibrosis, five actually have the condition. One of our physicians says, you're the, most, you're the luckiest person I've ever known. You're not that lucky. There's 150,000 people in the world with cystic fibrosis. You're not one of them. But think of the, think of the economics of that. What would be the next step? It was additional testing, right? Genetic testing. We didn't bother with it. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. 